versus V2. Um, so I just wanted to answer that question for a lot of people that uh, keep asking it. So this is a V2 car. This is a V1 car. The difference is only in the shocks. This is a V1 shock in the right hand side here. That's a V2 shock. Um, right now, this has a little bit lighter springs available for it, and the V2 has a heavier set of springs available for it. So that's kind of what we're looking at. There's no difference. This is the original DC one, that's why it's different here. This is the new improved DC one. Uh, it's got a shorter, um, lighter uh, wheelie bar, and it also has some holes cut under here for reduced weight and up on the front of the servo. Um, also, this has got their upgraded uh, transmission case, their new wide gear, uh, their light arms, and um, pretty much it's, I just built this, it's got 10 millimeter wide uh, hubs on it, be running a Trinity double down motor in it, and this is my own uh, setup on the front end because uh, I just like it that way a little bit better. Also tune front arms. Uh, this part here, the uh, aluminum part, they make that tune that has uh, holes in it. I believe that's 10 grams lighter. Um, but uh, also, I've uh, been working on some batteries. This is um, Onyx uh, RC Power Systems new uh, 3P, 2S3P. Probably the best testing pack uh, I've ever had on the ESR meter. Um, this is what I normally run, is SMC 12000, that's a 2P pack, and uh, this Onyx is available at Shadow Hobbies, um, here's his information, he's been sending me some st free stuff and some stuff to test, I appreciate it, Bob and Shadow, thank you very much, um, Market Drag Works, got the new tires, thank you very much, I'm going to try these suckers out, uh, got some new bad racing wheels, some new Voodoo tires for the front. And we got some more goodies to put on our, our new build here. And we're running the castle. The ace on this new car with the Trinity Double Down. And we got uh, another car we're working on that's got the uh, R1 Volta motor in it. So we're going to try that out too. But uh, once again, main reason for making this video is I wanted to show people what the difference is between the uh, V1 setup and the V2 shocks. That is the only difference, guys. This uh, shock tower and this setup in the back is mine. Nobody makes this. I make it myself for my, myself and my family. So your, your shock tower is going to look more like the Batwing or setup, you know, that you get you see online. It will not look like this. And once again, this is my front end, my shock tower, my design. It just, it works better for me this way. Um, <clears throat> overall, uh, like I said, these new Onyx packs, you know, there's a another one out there. Sorry about that, guys. Here it is. It's also uh, at Shadow Hobbies. Uh, Bob sells them. It's a 6P. Uh, this also tested really, really well. A um, little big for what I like wide, you know, as far as fitting on the chassis and stuff. You can see that this guy here is going to fit real nice. He fits real good too. Um, to give you a size comparison, there's an SRD next to it. Real good packs. Like I said, I test them on the ESR meter and then I road test them. I see what the voltage drop does. Uh, you can test things on the ESR meter, and but you have to do it all at the same voltage, same temperature, um, and then doing stuff um, out on the track to see what the voltage drop is. That's what I really like to look at and see. So, um, appreciate it. Bad racing. Love your love the new wheels. Voodoo love the new front tires. Mark, love the new drag works. This is wide, uh, bad racing wheel. That thing is just quite a bit wider than 
a voodoo, so. Thanks for watching, guys.